This game is called Walkabout Mini Golf. And there's a new course there, the Gardens of Babylon. But I'll just show you a little bit about this game. The perfect mini golf game for your Oculus Quest. Here we are. Hold the trigger. I see, you only got one. Look at your wrist. It tells you what time it is. That's actually literally what time it is right now, too. Interesting. Uh, part two on a uh, very simple course. And this whole island here is this course. Let's hold how it looks. You can teleport by using the analog or just push the uh, pull the trigger. You'll already be aligned to your ball. Look down. There it is. Play some mini golf. Follow through. Ah! Lame. Start pulling the trigger if you want. Start pulling the trigger if you want. I'm looking around here because sometimes you'll find other golf balls hidden, and there's one per course. I have a couple of them, but not all. Let's see if I can just get the par on this one. Nice! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's already telling you that there's your ball. So you can go over there if you'd like. You can actually literally walk over there. Just don't look around. <laughs> or just pull the trigger. Okay, right to where you need to go. Alright. There we go. Got this rock in the way. Let's see what we can do here. And... Not bad. Not bad. See, the other idea is, fortunately, it's VR, so you're not like trying to do that weird spacing thing, you know, when you're actually playing real mini golf. No, 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 no! <sighs> nope, it didn't work that way. Let's grab it from here. <laughs> Wanna like, crack it over there? Bounce off the wall. Not bad. Uh, see, I'm, I'm always looking around for these. <laughs> the other alternative here. Now I'm familiar with Rec Room, but I've heard so much about VR Chat, and VR Chat is free to download on your Oculus Quest. What VR Chat has that Rec Room doesn't have is they have custom avatars that other people have made. So you can walk around as, well, as you can see the characters here. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you. You can also go to other worlds that people have made, and this room here looks very familiar. Hmm. <laughs> Interactive too, you can go bowling if you'd like. And if you're wondering what avatar I chose just to start out with, gotta go with my man Schnitzel. Gotta go with my homie Schnitzel. I love the cartoon chowder. You can also have different avatars on tap too, so when you're done with one of them, hey, why not switch over to Isabel from Animal Crossing. Now, I don't know what it is. I've always been a huge geek for maps. I remember as a child, I would actually read the Rand McNally's Road Atlas just for fun. And Wander is a $10 app, it's $9.99, and it's basically Google Street View in VR. You can go wherever you want and then look around in VR. You can go to random places, you can pull up a map and just choose where you want to go. You can also click the microphone button and with the microphone speak into where you want to go. I can just say like Space Needle. You'll go to the Space Needle. And like magic, you'll be whisked away to Seattle Center where looming above you, representing the World's Fair 19, what, 64? Get your Space Needle. So if you've never seen the Space Needle, what it looks like when you're standing on the ground, and there you go. You can also go to other places too, like mountaintops to uh, look down and stuff like that too. Very, very cool. And a little virtual sightseeing there with Wander. I like it. And this one is right up my kid's alley. It's called Bogo. It's basically a virtual pet that you can do uh, different things with. Like, you know, you can play catch. You can uh, brush its dirty face. You can, uh, you know, do stuff with it, interact with it. And I know these screens don't show it justice, but when you're right there, I mean, this thing is huge. <laughs> And Epic Roller Coasters is a free download you can check out. There's a couple of free levels, however, you can pay for extra ones. Think of it as a more tame version of Until Dawn's Rush of Blood for the PlayStation VR. It's a roller coaster journey. You can either just ride the roller coaster and enjoy the ride. You can shoot little targets if you'd like. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad experience. I'm, I'm happy they have this. One game I couldn't get enough of on the PlayStation VR is Moss, and Moss is not only available for the Oculus Quest, but it also features a little bit of additional footage, a little bit of extra scenes, a couple of uh, a little, little extra levels, if you will, for no cost to you. It's the same price, and it's Moss, it is Oculus Quest. It is a wonderful story. If you are not familiar with it or haven't played it yet, uh, you play as Quill, a mouse, uh, who has kind of bequeathed a mission to uh, carry on the task. I don't want to spoil too much of it for you, but it plays like a storybook. In fact, when you go from scene to scene, it actually makes the uh, page sound, like the page turning sound. I love that. Love the little features like that. But it's just so beautiful, so wonderful to watch. Um, interactive story. 
Moss is a must play for any VR unit. Uh, Oculus Quest, no exception. <laughs> Super hot VR, a must have. One game that I was really, really drawn to, it's not really a game, it's more of an interactive uh, documentary almost, um, is the story of Anne Frank. Now this is the, uh, the Diary of Anne Frank VR experience where you're actually in the attic. You're actually in the section of house that was closed off to uh, to the Nazis, basically. Um, and it kind of goes through the story of, you know, where she was, what it looked like, um, you know, a, kind of a day in the life of what she would do um, with her and her family members that were hiding in this house uh, during World War II. A wonderful experience. It's absolutely, I think it's a must for, I mean, for adults, for children. Um, I never thought about it. Whenever I thought of, like, the, you know, the Diary of Anne Frank, I kind of pictured her in the attic with a bunch of people in one single room. I didn't know there was, like, rooms and stuff going on, so maybe I should have read the book. The cool thing about this experience, 100% free. Download it right now. And you got your Super Famicom looking game system here. You pop your game in, you can start playing it immediately. And like I said, this game looks and plays a lot like the games that we would see for like the Super Nintendo era. And I love these elements when the game kind of becomes alive. So now you're in your living room and you're playing it on <laughs> your floor, uh, everything happening around you. Fun little boss battle here. Now those cubes, you keep seeing those cubes, that's basically your life. Think the rings and Sonic. So long as you have one, you're good. On your way home, sit in the back of the car, and uh, again, video game world comes to life. So here you got a little bit of road rash, and once the trunk opens up, a little uh, Mario Kart action. You actually are throwing the bananas out <laughs> to, <laughs> to get rid of the big old bad guy. <laughs> oh, what a fun experience. No, oh, but you're not alone. You gotta go to this castle, so who else would you invite but, well, Cedric. Now, the very first game I fired up was Beat Saber, because Beat Saber now has a multiplayer menu. That's right, a multiplayer option. You can do room codes if you like, invite your friends along to play games with you. Um, you can't chat, like you can't, you don't have a voice ability to talk to each other. However, I was able to just jump into a lobby and just, you know, play whatever game popped up. And I'm not very good at Beat Saber. I love this game though. And it was cool to see the other players playing at the same time too. You create your avatar and all that and, um, and play some Beat Saber, but you're playing uh, with friends or uh, with, yeah, soon to be friends. <laughs> and it's a free addition if you already have Beat Saber. I didn't have to pay any extra for it. It just came like this. That's awesome. I love it when they do stuff like this. Now, because I love planets and I love outer space, this is Titans of Space VR. I forgot if it was like an astronaut or someone on the ISS, but he was just like, hey, you know what? There's nothing like seeing Earth unframed. And the, when he said Earth unframed, he was like, that's right. Every time I've seen Earth, it was always in a picture, uh, in, on a TV show, uh, in, a, in a book or something like that. Uh, but to actually like look around and see all around you and everything, it's um, it's kind of trippy. It's, it, it, this game kind of gives me a little bit of an outer body experience just by nature of, you know, I'm just looking around and here's Earth. And when it comes at you all of a sudden, you're like, oh, you feel like you're falling. You know, and these uh, this video here does not do it justice. It's kind of like when you see a picture of Mount Fuji and you're like, oh, okay, there's a picture of Mount Fuji. Or at least for the Northwest, like, oh, here's a picture of Mount Rainier. Or here's a picture of the Space Needle. That's fine, but when you see it in real life, again, unframed, you're like, oh my god, that's that's huge. It looks great. And when you see, like, again, you see the planets in this game, you see the moons and all that, and this is just an interactive experience. It's not a game at all. It's, just, it's a little tour of outer space. It's more educational than anything. But when you see it, you're just like, oh my god, that's huge. Especially when you see this, you know, the sun. You can you can compare planets back to back. It's like, you know, in the moon to uh, Mars. You know, here's <laughs> which one's bigger. <laughs> Stuff like that. So this is your device. Pop it right in there. It goes right in there. And then you pull back, and that's where it shows you where to go. So if I put it like right here in the middle, and you can you can see the arch, you can see the arc, and you can even see that the other bubbles are glowing. This is the green one right here. Let go. There we go. Now this is red right now, but maybe I want that yellow one. You can hit this button, swap them out. Maybe yellow will be more to your favor. Red, we can do red. Put it right there. Oh, we got one left. Right, the core right in the middle. Just pop it. So cute. I love it. Get your stuff, get your stuff. Extra points for all the bubbles you didn't use. Ten coins earned. All right. Right in there. Pull back. Got the blue. Let's go for it. Whoa, that was a good one. White. Let's do it. Love it. Purple. Let's go. 
All right, we got it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Again, just chill. I'm, I'm literally most VR games, and when I say most, I mean almost every VR game I play, especially on my Oculus Quest 2, because there's no wires or anything, I play standing up. Beat Saber, Synth Riders, I mean, th that usually involves standing up, moving around and everything. This is such a chill game. I'm sitting down right now. I'm sitting on my couch playing this game. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's, it's nice to have a nice, chill VR game. Bring it. Green, I'll take it. Plock it right in there. Plock it right in there, buddy. Hey, let's go. Let's go for the high angle there. All right, red. We got it. Green. Let's do it. There we go. See? That's all you gotta do. Oh, I see a bird way up there. Can I get him? Let's see if I can get him. Oh, he's moving out of the way. Ah, he's all gone. Actually, I... <laughs> he's not showing up like I'm gonna get him. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's already gone. All right. No problem. Probably for the better. Red. We can do red. Got a yellow for me. Can we get it right in the middle? Uh, not quite. We can get those, though. And then on this time around, we'll be able to get the other two. Let's do it. And then finally, doesn't really matter. Just anywhere on the uh, anywhere on the core is fine. There you go. Oh, look at this. The game's so the game's so awesome. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use that that beach uh, the beach hashtag. I'm gonna have to use that beach hashtag for Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I do like how once you hit something, it like rotates. Give you another angle. Bring it over. Bring it over. Get rid of a big old chunk of them if you can. It's the way to go. Oh, nope. Didn't want that. I should have really focused my aim. It's all right. We'll, 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 we'll catch up. We'll make up for it. We got it. Look at that. Beautimus. Hey, too far away. Angle it. Oh, yep, there we go. I'll take I'll take purple. I'll take that. Let's do it. Got it. Just for fun, if you want to see the infinite mode. Little look at the infinite mode. Sure. Pop the bubbles before they reach the portal. Oh my goodness, it looks so scary. On screen, it looks like whatever. But this thing is huge. All right, bring it, 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 bring it. Oh, in there. We got it. No, 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 and now this one, slowly raising to the top. Slow, oh, come on. You gonna do that to me? Ah, well, you get the idea. <laughs> you, can, you can swap these as much as you want, doesn't really matter. And then these are, of course, your, your items down here, too. I don't have any items set yet. But later on, you can use these and take advantage of them. This thing's almost done here. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. See, look, this is going to keep on coming up. All these other ones are coming up. All these other ones are popping up. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Bring it. Bring it. Oh, no. It's almost there. I want to see what happens. I, I, I Actually, I literally haven't even seen what happened yet. Oh. Level clear. Oh, it's just... It's... Okay, well, when you get through it, well, he seems pretty happy about it. So this is Jupiter Grad, and Jupiter Grad, you're you know on this uh, kind of space station near Jupiter, but you have these pulley system, kind of like Attack on Titan, kind of like Spider-Man, and you just have to get through the area. There's no enemies. Great. Did you know that Pico Pass product mixture has to be so, stored? Uh, 
Not shaker. But there's something just awesome about this. The physics on this game, I'm just absolutely in love with. But some of the things later on, some of the missions later on, are just you're like really going to force me to do that. <laughs> Don't get hit by that. Thing. There's like you know, again with the portal vibes. Sometimes I was talking to you. There's like that's how you get the clues and everything. Slowly up here, why not? And then you move on to the little uh, next area here. Dude, <laughs> ceiling here. Oh god. <laughs> so close. Uh, where do we go? This is Clash of Chefs VR. Um, you can do uh, Japanese cuisine, Mexican cuisine, Italian, you know, pizza and pasta and stuff. But people will come to the restaurant and you have to place their order naturally. So I'll get a couple of plates ready already. Fortunately, burgers are easy enough because they're always just going to ask for a burger of some kind. Uh, double meat, double cheese can do that. So you just use your hands for everything. There's one, there's another. Oh, gotta put cheese in between here. There we go. Service. Grab another one here. And then you have things like, you know, bacon and whatever else. You know, there's more stuff to be added later. But so far, again, a great idea for, like, a great game for people who don't like, you know, the motion controls or anything. It's like you're just right here. You have everything. Grab yourself a uh, grape soda there. You want to make some cucumbers there? Sure, why not? Some onions. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Put the whole uh, thing of bacon on here. Make a, make a bunch of bacon. Take some raw hamburger patties. Ch chuck them at people. Get some french fries in here. There we go. There you go. Here. You're going to meditate? You're just going to sit there and meditate, dude? Seriously? Jump up. <laughs> Uh, this game is called Ben VR. It's a 3D action platformer where you control Ben. I mean, this is, you're down here. I mean, that's your character. But it's a, you know, Ready it's a platformer here. So you get to, like, just go around. And... Well, these kind of games, I'm all down for. That's a checkpoint right there. So this is, uh, it's called Ben VR. And... I don't know how much of this I can show you, but I was just saying, look, this is this and more. I mean, this is just the very first stage. Oh, hey, Going back to what the future stages. Oh, hey, there's one of my friends. There's one of my guys. I gotta find a way to get there. You can control, you can snap the controller, you can snap the camera around. I gotcha. All right. You gotta find those guys around here, too. You come up this way. Oh, you look all mean, but look at you. Look at you. And you're, oh, I can, I can, you can, you can literally just push I didn't actually, I honestly didn't know you could just push them around like that. <laughs> oh, hey, there's another one down here, too. See? It needs to be in VR, so you can actually, like, you know, literally look, look around corners and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll come go. Attack. You do have a downward attack. If you double jump in that, I'll show you how this guy. Oh, not again. Uh, yeah, he got me. He got me. He got me. It's all good. Where am I? Here I am. This place again? Yeah. I'll wait till he does his thing. There we go. Little smash there. <laughs> Very. Uh oh. Not good. I hope the other one. No, jeez, look how far down it is. Yeah, don't don't look down. 60, so you're constantly turning around. Right now it's on 360. We'll go ahead and try that just so you can see what's going on. And here we go. When they come at you, hit them. If there's a two on him, you have to hit it twice. Ah, uh, come on. Try to pivot a little bit more. Can I turn over this way? Smash drums available now, it's so cool. 